Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The mayor of Windsor announcing the city will seek a court injunction to end the protest that's now halting traffic on the Ambassador Bridge. The bumper-to-bumper -bumper demonstration is now in its fourth day. To avoid the blockade and get into Canada, truckers in the Detroit area are being forced to drive 70 miles north to Port Huron and cross the Blue Water Bridge. There, big rigs are backed up for miles. The delays forcing car manufacturers on both sides of the border to cancel shifts because of parts shortages. This all stems from protests that started in Ottawa over a vaccine mandate for truck drivers. Thousands of new speed humps will be installed across Metro Detroit this year. By forcing drivers to slow down, the street humps cut down on speeding and reckless driving. Detroit residents can apply through the end of February to get speed humps set up in their neighborhood. Installation projects will prioritize residential streets near schools and parks and places with a history of high-speed crashes. In total, the city of Detroit now has 7,000 speed humps. A new report on inflation shows it's digging even deeper into our pockets. The consumer price index shot up 7.5% in January from the time a year earlier. It is the highest annual increase in 40 years and more than predicted. A few examples, food prices up an average of 7%. Energy prices climbed 27% led by gasoline and fuel oil. New cars and trucks shot up 12% in the last year, the fastest increase on record. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Going to get a little snow to work in here late tonight. Tomorrow morning, most of it falls between about 5 and 11 a.m. By that time, it should be changing over to rain. And we see up to an inch in a lot of spots around here, so it's not a big deal. Uh, it starts before the sun comes up. You'll be driving through it in the morning commute. And it looks like it'll be more wet and slushy rather than icy, but you just got to slow down a little bit too, of course, if it's slushy out there on the roads. It does get warmer in the afternoon, 39, so any snow changes over to rain before it ends in the afternoon. So you probably don't even have to worry about the driveway and the sidewalks and the porches around town. They'll be melting as the day goes along. But then it's cold for the weekend, around 20 both Saturday and Sunday, only 23 for Valentine's Day. And there are some single-digit lows coming Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday.